New Pathways, a homeless shelter for families located in Brainerd, needs the community's help in locating a new facility for a day center. The day center provides an on-site case manager and skills trainer to assist families in learning the skills of budgeting, parenting, job hunting, and healthy living. Their current facility serves six of the surrounding counties in the Brainerd Lakes area. But our Chelsea Brown tells us that if they don't locate a new facility soon, many families could be left living on the streets. We've had a great spot and a great gift from the school district for almost 10 years now. But after almost 10 years paying a dollar a year for their current facility, New Pathways was notified they would have to move locations due to the expansion of Brainerd Public Schools. The school has grown and the school needs to take some of the property that they have here on our block and make it into parking lot. The homeless shelter has served 397 families and 659 children, with 85% of those families coming from Crow Wing County. The program is now looking for a possible facility donation to be converted into their new day center. It's something I truly believe in, and I believe that this community needs to help pull together and support this. That coming from Darla Johnson, who graduated the New Pathways program back in 2010. After being laid off as a government employee, she moved in with a friend. Four months later, she depleted all of her savings. Her friend's outdoor wood stove blew up, leaving her on the streets and living in her car. My son and I lived in my car for 10 days during the winter. Um, I didn't really know what to do. I was working part-time at a resort. So I remember one day I called Aiken and I was just crying and I'm like, please help me. She was then referred to New Pathways, which gave her a place to feel safe. We felt safe. You know, they offered us three meals a day. They gave us toiletries that we needed, you know, toothpaste and hairbrushes and shampoo. They offered us a place to sleep that was safe and warm. With their help, Johnson graduated the program 54 days later, getting her own apartment and getting back up on her feet. I've graduated with two degrees from CLC with honors. I then transferred to a four-year university to Bemidji State, and I graduated magnum cum laude with my bachelor's in accounting. I started working for the city of Brainerd a little over two years ago. I'm married now. I have my own home. I have two adopted children and my biological son. And now I'm on the board of directors for New Pathways. And it's kind of my opportunity to give back to the program that helped me so much. Because without this program, I wouldn't be where I am today. And if New Pathways does not find a new location come this October, they will have to shut their doors. The closest other shelters that you have would be down in St. Cloud or possibly all the way up into the Cass Lake area. And both of those facilities are always limited with how many they can take and normally full. We serve six counties. So we have people from all over these counties that come to this particular center. And so we need it to survive. And they have made it their mission to continue looking for support to help these families in need. In Brainerd, Chelsea Brown, Lakeland News. The New Pathways program has an 82% success rate of families graduating and finding stable housing. The Family Homeless Shelter is looking for a location near their current facility on 6th Street. They hope to make it permanent. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.